Hey everybody, TBC the Brick Canuck here, bringing you the latest in some EverQuest news. Here I am right now, just killing my way through the Temple of Sulisek Row, as we are now in Planes of Power on Yelenak, one of my favourite expansions. So, this week we had some really big EverQuest news. First came the EverQuest 2 development roadmap, and the next day, just yesterday, we got the 2023 EverQuest roadmap. So, let's get right into it and see what we can expect from our EverQuest dev team this coming year. So first off, this is what they're planning to do and bring into the game in 2023. Starting off in January, it's just kind of more of the same. It's just the unlocks of the raid to the most recent expansion, Knights of Shadows, as well as the kind of regular um, calendar events that you would expect to see. Like Brew Day, you've seen all MMOs these days. Uh, El Rossi Day for Valentine's and and so on. Nothing really new there. Now, the first time we do get something new and something kind of exciting is in April, and that is the launch of the new UI engine. Now, it's interesting that only some windows will be ported uh, to the new engine. So, what I'm thinking is that this isn't going to be like a huge change as maybe what I would hope and what I would like. I'm expecting this is going to be more of a back-end change and visually we're probably not going to see too much actually change but I could be wrong. None of us have seen any designs, none of us have seen any kind of mock-ups of what this new UI will look like. I'm sure that will come as we get closer to April and I'm really looking forward to that. I think it will really help with the game because right now the UI is so clunky. There's uh, so many windows, there's so many, uh, like, and because the game's got so bloated, it's kind of all over the show, like in the character page with all the different currencies, all the different extra slots that have just kind of been put in here, there, and everywhere. Um, I think a good total redesign of the UI is long, long overdue. And I'm hopeful that maybe. Um, they can factor in some of the progression servers into that meaning that you, you, a lot of these ui features that you don't need or don't have any access to early on will not show up uh, on a progression server maybe until you need them who knows and then in may interesting that we get as expected a new progression server now, when I first saw this, I noticed a very, very, very slight difference from last year's announcement, which also came in January. And that difference is in one letter. Last year, they announced new progression servers. This year, it's it's the singular. It just says server. Um, I think that's probably a positive. It means that the people who are going to be looking to play are all going to be together and they're not going to be spread out across two servers like they have been in previous years such as on Yelenak and Vidiki, Mischief and Formblade and so on. Um, but I'm, I, I'm kind of a little bit um, hesitant in what the new server this year will, will bring. I don't think they can do the same again. Uh, and by the same again, I don't think they can do another Finny clone, as we like to call them. This would, would be like the fifth or sixth Finny clones. And I think um, after Yelenak, a lot of people just uh, have shown that there's just not as much interest in doing that anymore. There'll always be some. There'll always be people that start coming back and be like, oh, it'd be really cool if we get a server that starts in Classic. But for the vast majority of us who come back time and time again to these TLP servers, signing classic again i i just don't want it i cannot cannot do it again um i also don't think they can potentially do another mischief clone yet mischief is still absolutely popping um that was a forum post just this week mischief has just got through the level 70 expansions and still has over 20 raiding guilds which is unheard of at this time uh, a lot of people have really enjoyed mischief a lot of people um have, have stuck to it as well which has surprised me um what 
what I think maybe they're considering is a lot of people kind of um, wishing they got in on mischief or wishing they stuck with it early on. So maybe we'll get a mischief clone. I mean, that technology exists. All the work they put in to kind of make that and loot tables and uh, the code it exists. It does not make any sense that they will let that kind of lie indefinitely. So we'll see. Um, we'll also not have had the um, relaxed true box really tested yet because that uh, will only be coming into Yelenak uh, after May. So I I don't see we'll get a relaxed true box um, TLP quite yet. Um, maybe we'll get some kind of middle ground that isn't quite as extreme as mischief with the um, random loot and the free trade and everything else and all the extra loot drops and so on and so forth um but i, I just don't want another classic server please not another bog standard finny clone classic server um at the very very least i also want a kunark star but i think what i will do as we get closer to may we'll start thinking about and i'll put some thought into kind of what i would like from a tlp server this year because geez I, I i can't stress enough i don't want another yellow Knight. i don't want another uh finny uh Cornav, Aradu, you name it these servers have been done to death you know they they do have a very limited kind of shelf life as um we can see because in further months um we see the death of a server, a server going away, and that's in July, and we say goodbye to Cornav. Cornav is being dumped into the TLP graveyard that is Vox. So, we say goodbye, Cornav. Uh, was not a popular server ever, uh, and the reasons for that was the XP rate was so slow on Cornav. It, it was brutal. If people think it's slow now, um no <laughs> it really really wasn't can't stress it how slow leveling on Karnov was i tried and i think i kind of um give up on Karnov like really really early um and there's probably one or two guilds are playing like nobody really plays on vox it's where they dump tlps after they've kind of population has gone and Karnov's not even on live so let's go to show they just they're just pulling the plug on that early um, after that, October is a, potentially another interesting month because we get the new expansion. I'd expect, if you look at what they've done in terms of expansions over the last kind of six, eight years, you know, they've done two Kunark, two Velius, two Lucklin. So I'm guessing the next one is some kind of return to the, the planes, a kind of planes of power themed expansion as it would um, fit in what they've done over the last several years um, I'd expect that but who knows we will see and also an upgrade to a direct x11 um, I, I'm hoping that this will bring some kind of efficiencies on CPU GPU usage um, that the game would potentially run um, a lot better uh, when it's fully DX11. I don't know. I'm not big into like that side of computers and um, graphics. So if I'm wrong on that, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Uh, while you're down there, really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe for new content. As we get closer to a new TLP, I'll be like I will for sure be bringing out new new videos, new content, and kind of sharing my thoughts on what i would like to see from a tlp and how the launch goes i really hope to be able to live stream the the launch this year but we will see um and then failing that the rest of the year is the new content um expansion which will be everquest 30th expansion which is uh, a remarkable achievement for any game to progress so far and that's kind of it and for everquest the uh the roadmap was fairly fairly short this year um but uh, it's good to see that there's still new content coming good to see that they're still making improvements to this game and hopefully fixing 
the UI where it needs to be fixed, but we'll, we will see with that. Um, so let me know what you would like to see in a TLP in 2023. Do you want a Mischief clone? Do you want a Finny clone? Or do you want somewhere in between? Which is where I think it will probably be. Will not be as crazy as Viniki, that's for sure, this year. Let me know down below. I am TBC, and thanks so much for watching this video.